Andrea Arthur is a clinical psychologist at the Zucker Hillside Hospital. She is the associate director of a research clinic called the Recognition and Prevention Program, otherwise known as the RAP program. We were able to speak with her at a recent children's mental health conference. Dr. Arthur, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Art. It's really a privilege to be here. What is the RAP program? The RAP program is a specialty research and clinical program for adolescents and young adults who appear to be showing early signs of what might become psychosis. And so in the RAP program, we are trying to provide some interventions to prevent the onset of psychosis if we can or delay it. Um, and we're also doing longitudinal research to look at the biological mechanisms that might uh, lead to psychosis development. Can you explain and expand on the term psychosis for our viewers? So uh, psychosis is kind of a broad term for certain psychological symptoms that uh, look like a person is maybe not really in touch with reality. Uh, we are working with people who have attenuated symptoms, so that means at a little bit of a lower level, because we're an early intervention program, so we're trying to prevent full-blown symptoms. Dr. Arthur, can you share with us the objective of this research study? So the, the Recognition and Prevention Program, or the RAP program at Zucker Hillside Hospital, has been in operation for about uh, a little over 10 years, and it's under the directorship of Dr. Barbara Kornblatt. And we have a research program and a clinic for adolescents and young adults. And so this is a longitudinal study where we're following people over time and we're also providing some interventions. The adolescents and young adults who come into the RAP program are showing what we think are early signs of what might develop into psychosis. So at the, the level of, uh, that they come into our program, the level is a little bit attenuated. So for instance, instead of having full paranoia, they might have some suspiciousness. Or instead of having delusional ideas or hallucinations, they might have some unusual thoughts and things that do not reach the level of full psychosis. How do you get referrals for this program? People come to the RAP program from a variety of referral sources. Sometimes people are self-referred, so they've noticed some changes in themselves that they are concerned about, or maybe they're starting to worry about things, um, and they might be seeking services directly. There are also parents who call us because they're concerned about their adolescent or young adult child. Um, we get referrals from private practitioners, so psychologists, social workers, psychiatrists in the community, and also uh, you know, all of the people that come to the Recognition and Prevention Program and programs like ours at Zucker Hillside Hospital, they're really treatment seeking. So some things are not going well for them, someone's noticed or they've noticed and they're seeking uh, services. So a lot of the referrals we get do come from the hospital system. Dr. Arthur, at what level should concerned parties seek treatment for individuals who might be experiencing symptoms of psychosis? What I would recommend is that if a person, a young person or someone in their family thinks that there is something not going well and that perhaps their loved one uh, is showing some early signs of what might be psychosis, that they should seek services right away. I th we think that the sooner people seek services, the better the potential outcome could be. So if you, the young person is noticing signs such as you know hearing or seeing things that seem unusual, maybe they're getting more suspicious or more involved with uh, conspiracies or other kinds of unusual ideas that might be bothering them, um, or maybe their thinking is not as clear as it used to be or some of their behavior has changed, it would be a good idea to seek services right away. Uh, most people try to find uh, practitioners, meaning social workers, psychologists, or psychiatrists in their community to get an evaluation. Uh, programs like ours, the Recognition and Prevention Program, we also offer evaluations. But first, what we do is talk to people on the phone and see if they might be appropriate for the research. If they're not appropriate for our particular project, we would be able to potentially give referrals to other places. Has this research study produced any positive results that you can share with our viewers? We do have some results that have come out of the RAP program, and by and large, most of the people who do come and seek services through our program and programs like ours do better. Uh, people who are adherent to treatment recommendations tend to do better. Uh, so whether someone is recommending a therapy or medication or something like that, that tends to lead to better outcomes. 
We're also in the middle of a study looking at omega-3 fish oil. Uh, this has been shown to be effective in reducing high-risk symptoms and preventing psychosis in a study in Europe. And so we are replicating that study here in the United States as part of a big group. And we are in the middle of that right now. So we also offer that sort of treatment. Dr. Arthur, are there any recommendations you can give our viewers to best detect and prevent the onset of psychosis in a family member who might be experiencing symptoms? We really want to intervene with people at the high risk stage before they develop full psychosis because we think that's the best uh, opportunity to do something to change the course. We ha offer several different treatments in the RAP program we have over time. We've done some family interventions. We've done some other psychotherapy type interventions. And we also give medication in some cases when it's warranted. In addition to the RAP program, are there any other programs at Zucker Hillside you'd like to tell us about? The RAP program is specific to looking at high-risk symptoms and treating high-risk symptoms of psychosis. But there are also other programs at the Zucker Hillside Hospital that treat different types of disorders, uh, such as full schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, etc. How can our viewers get more information about the RAP program? So if someone wanted to get in touch with us at the RAP program, you could go to our website, which is www.rapprogram.org, and that's RAP program, one word. Uh, we also uh, take calls. Uh, the number is 718-470-8115. And again, I just want to point out that not all people are going to meet the criteria for the RAP program, but we might be able to offer some referrals to other uh, services that might be more appropriate both at our hospital system and uh, in the community. We'd like to thank Dr. Arthur for giving us some insight into this valuable and promising prevention effort.